Uh, someone's asking me what we run in terms of gear. Um, and I've just finished putting everything back in its place for the year. So um, anyway, I thought I'd show you around and hopefully it can help someone. Um, we run a dual cab ute. Um, a couple of um, hand hedges up the top there. Picker upper is rubbish when you're doing hotels on beside the road and that sort of thing. Axes, hammers, um, cobweb brushes, poison gloves, two stroke, heaps of just little spanners and tools and pliers and all that sort of stuff just in case you've got to do a repair on something like a fence or whatever, screws, drills, you know, all that, all that hand stuff, fuel. Um, we keep the bucket so you don't have the spillages. Oop. Oop. Lights are handy when they work. Um, anyway, that's in a spare multi head in there too. Chainsaws in there. Um, that container just for bags and tarps and more fuel. And the only rebottling we do, which is the um, oil for the uh, chainsaws. It's not going to be, you know, it's the only thing you re-bottle. You don't re-bottle poisons or anything because you shouldn't. Um, we just run a couple of 216s in there. There's a backpack blower in there too. And brooms and rakes and... Um, oh, the shovels are up there. Uh, pole saws, witches hats. Um, just put the ladders in there and put a rope tied onto those two tie points. So if you've got light green waste, you can just undo that rope there and just drag it out. Um, they're bifold doors that also come down as ramps. So you can put the ride on in there if you've got a ride on and, or open it up for green waste. But, um, sideways, however you say that. Um, ladders, um, yeah, ladders are in there. Shovels, rakes, all that sort of stuff goes in there. I just keep my main whippy in the middle there like that. Try not to break the brake light. Bucket, we weed into buckets, so they're pretty handy to have. Uh, and this is the main toolbox. This is on the roadside. Heaps of weeding tools, because we always lose the weeding tools. A couple of blowers, and obviously the backpack blowers in the trailer. Um, sunscreen, another light. Yeah, spool. Loppers and whipper snipper heads and uh, the hedge at the pole hedges and all that sort of stuff we chuck up there because you're grabbing them all the time. We run a couple of multi heads down here, so usually got one and earmuffs hanging off the back and fire extinguisher and whipper snipper masks, a bit of two stroke oil and um, blade cleaner. This stuff's pretty good. Um, spare pruners, we usually keep them in our pocket, but yeah, and hand wash and you just chuck your first aid kit and that in the back seat. Spare raincoats and chairs and stuff for when you have lunch. Um, that's us. Anyway, I hope it um, helps someone out with their ideas and their planning to go from a single operator to having your first staff member. Um, if I could, I'd replicate this whole setup and have two or three of them on the road. But um, at this stage, we've yeah just got the one. Um, got another trailer ready to go over there and another ute ready to go. Um, anyway, we'll all get there. Happy New Year, everybody. Hope you're all well. Looking forward to 2023 and we'll see you on the road.